Hey, hey guys, how are you? Steph here. Check out the giant hands. When you first start freelancing, as you may know, it can be a little bit difficult to get up and running unless you've got contacts and so forth. I have to tell you that uh, my experience, even though I had been a fairly experienced business person at the time, it was a bit of a struggle the first six months or so, just landing those first few clients, uh, establishing uh, good workflows, um, being able to get steady money. So one of the things I'll tell you is like, so I get out of, I sell out of my first business and there were some legal issues and so forth before I was able to get access to my money. So I was, I was, my back was against the wall and I was quite young at the time. And uh, so getting that first client was, was really difficult. And when you're struggling and you have uh you got to pay your rent in 30 days and you got no money in the bank and you um, you have no and you don't have any definite prospects in terms of clients it's, it's pretty stressful right it's pretty stressful i don't want to go work for a, in a coffee shop or anything like that and i didn't want to get a job in fact i could have got a job as a developer and so forth working for somebody make pretty good money but i really wanted to get my freelance business and subsequently my SaaS businesses up and running so I wasn't prepared to do that. Uh, famous quote, uh, better to rule in hell than serve in heaven. That was my motto, you know. It served me pretty well. So when I first started, and you may be in this position, it's very difficult because everything's up in the air. You don't have, you don't have anything established. You don't have any contacts. So I remember it was, it was getting to the point where I was paying my rent at, on the halfway through the month. It's just the money wasn't there. Um, and I have to tell you, uh, that makes you strong. You know, it's the old Japanese expression, a hot fire makes strong steel. And it's true. When you go through stressful situations like that, where your back's against the wall, you don't know if you're going to get paid, you don't know if you have money for food, you know, there's a period of time for a few months where I've been eating just like noodles and crap dinner, that's it. Um, again, it was, for me, it's kind of artificially imposed, but I didn't want to borrow money from uh, family or friends or, or parents or anything. But nonetheless, it was there and it can be pretty uh, stressful on you, I suppose. Well, it is. It is. So uh, I remember uh, <laughs> when I got my first contract and uh, opening up a new bank account, this is a long time ago, and uh, I deposited money into my account. I got a check from the client. I deposited money in the account. I said, woohoo. I got money, I got money, okay, we're good. And I remember, uh, because that was a new corporate account, the banking system in Canada is such that um, they hold on to your checks until it clears, because they don't know who you are, you have no reputation. So they're gonna, they're gonna hold to your check until it clears. Uh, depending on the bank, depending on the, your banking system, it could be a week, it could be a few days, it could be the same day, it could be two weeks, it's hard to say. So for me, I don't know what it was. I think it was like a week or something. So I cashed the check and, you know, for a year prior, because I had been in business for years, I had, you know, money and stuff, but because of, it was all locked up in a, in a court situation, uh, I was pretty uh, stretched thin. Anyway, so I remember going to the grocery store and I said, okay, I got money in the bank, thank God. So I go to the, money, go to the grocery store and I buy a bunch of groceries, wait in line, you know, big line, get to the grocery, you know, they, they process all the food, and I have to pay, you know, I have to pay for the groceries. And I got my, I didn't have a credit card. I, I, I never, I didn't like credit cards. I just had my, my bank card. And so I uh, go to pay and re refuse, re refuse, you know, money refused, money refused. So um, they basically declined to, to pay for the groceries. So I'm standing there, and everybody's watching, and I was like, oh my god, I got no money for groceries. This sucks. So uh, I went home and I ate like ramen noodles for a week, for four or five days until the money was cleared. And uh, yeah, so that taught me a very important lesson: the value of having emergency fu money at all cost. That's why I have that fu money video. If you look at my videos below, you'll see it's in there. So it's very important that you do that. It's very important that uh, once you get up and running, or even better, before you jump into the freelance game, because there's always going to be this lag time before it starts to work. You want to develop some FU money so you don't go to the grocery store and not be able to pay for your cucumbers and uh, your chicken. Not a good situation there. 
So yeah, the first, uh, that's the story of the first few months into my freelancing career. Even when I had money in the bank because I didn't have a reputation, et cetera, I couldn't pay for my groceries, it real sucks hard. Um, fortunately, shortly thereafter, I started scoring more and more deals. It's, 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 it's like a, that old expression, they say, when it rains, it pours. So, you know, you're going along, you got no business, no business, you can't get clients, you get your first little clients, and then boom, that's how business is. Business is rarely like this. It's usually boom, boom, big spikes. So, yeah, if you're getting into the freelance business, understand that when you jump into it, I encourage you because once you get going, it, it's, it's a lot of fun because you have so much control. But there's that initial stage where there's going to be a lot of insecurity and so forth. And uh, if you can just, you know, structure yourself accordingly, manage your money and your situation, you'll get through it. There's no question about it. It's just a question of time and effort. Anyway, I hope this video is useful. We'll talk soon.